secret lesbian lovers, bitter racists, and super fluffy bunnies with, like, really bad energy? From drunken takedowns to Munchausen's allegations, here's why these stars can't stand Lisa frickin' Rinna. Garcelle Beauvais and Lisa Rinna's 20-year friendship wasn't able to withstand a stint on reality TV. I'm gonna say it about myself. I was in a lot of ways. I'm not gonna disagree. After joining the show in season 10, Garcelle claimed that she felt uncomfortable being the only black woman in the cast. And when the reunion rolled around, she let the ladies have it. Not only did she accuse Rinna and Dorit Kemsley of picking on her, but she also accused the pair of racist microaggressions. But I don't feel like you look out for me. <sighs> Rinna and Kemsley denied the allegations. Beauvais then claimed that Rinna hated that she talked about race on camera. Rinna denied this, and Beauvais actually didn't hear it firsthand, explaining, Someone told me that you said that I should have never brought race into this show, that this show is not that kind of show. Rinna and Kemsley denied that they had done anything wrong, with Rinna adding, Garcelle, I would never say that. I was happy that you came on the show. I like you. Why would you insinuate that? I don't know. Eventually, the ladies sort of made up, but things remained tense, according to Bravo. It was a big deal when a superstar like Denise Richards joined the franchise in season nine. But almost immediately, rumors that she had an affair with former housewife Brandi Glanville began to spread. Richards denied everything, but on the flip side, Glanville was reportedly upset about the alleged romance because she was under the impression that Richards' husband was cool with it. But as Us Weekly noted, he wasn't. They all seem fine until they're really not fine. Glanville showed Rinna alleged texts between her and Denise that convinced Rinna that Denise was lying. Richards then continued to irritate the cast by being overly selective about what she shared on the show. And if someone brought up the Glanville drama, Richards would scream, bravo, bravo, bravo. Apparently, there is an unwritten rule that producers scrap footage that breaks the fourth wall, according to Page Six. Richards then left the show, claiming that Rinna had thrown away a good friendship by siding with Glanville. Are you Yours threatening will be me? Shown Are too. you threatening me? Though the former friendship is clearly over, Rinna has since gone after Richard's marriage, claiming that the actor hit on Real Housewives of Orange County stars at BravoCon per Hollywood Life. We don't know how Richard's feels about that one, but when it comes to the housewives, she's done with Bravo, 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 and Rinna, Rinna, Rinna. I am not doing this, you guys. We stop. I'm stop. Bravo, Bravo, and Bravo. I'm out. I'm not doing this. Way before Rinna, Lisa Vanderpump reigned supreme as Bravo's undisputed queen. As a fan favorite and star and producer of Vanderpump Rules, she could do no wrong. But things awkwardly came crashing down in season nine of Housewives when she let it slip to the press that Dorit Kemsley had abandoned a dog from Vanderpump's rescue. I just pawned it off of something that was just catty and a little gross, but <laughs> okay. Apparently, the dog bit one of Kemsley's kids, so she gave it away to a friend. Then the friend surrendered the dog to a different rescue, who then contacted Vanderpump Dogs, according to People. It was some seriously bad press for Kemsley, and Vanderpump was reportedly behind it. That's where Rinna comes in. The drama between Vanderpump and Kemsley firmly divided that cast, and Rinna was fully Team Kemsley. Things further deteriorated when Vanderpump turned the scandal into a spin-off, Vanderpump Dogs. As Rinna posted in an Instagram story at the time, I'm a hustler. I make no bones about that. I think you get paid for what you do. So my feeling is, if we indeed are servicing a spinoff, we should be paid for it. So if this indeed becomes another show, my lawyer will be calling. And I'm no dummy anymore, honey. Vanderpump Dogs aired for just one season on Peacock, and Rinna has yet to receive a check for any of it. Rinna has long been a fan favorite on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, but she was almost replaced by Kathy Hilton, who stole hearts with her weird energy and quirky one-liners. Still, after a phenomenal debut season, fans were disappointed to learn that Hilton would not be returning for season 12. And as the rumor goes, it was because of her feud with Rinna. Things reportedly turned nasty while the cast was filming in Aspen in 2021. Allegedly, Hilton had a meltdown and was reportedly furious that Rinna and the rest of the cast may have had a hand in spreading rumors about it, according to Radar. The mumblings of Fallout were all but confirmed when Hilton didn't film the season 12 finale. Instead, she ditched the ladies to hang out with Donald Trump at a Mar-a-Lago Super Bowl party, which Rinna found problematic. Bottoms up. So, if you miss Hilton's ridiculous pranks on the show, you've reportedly got Rinna to thank. When it comes to co-stars Rinna doesn't see eye to eye with, Yolanda Hadid is at the top of the list. As fans well know, season six revolved around whether or not Hadid truly had Lyme disease. And of course, the ladies became convinced that Hadid was faking the illness. 
it's something that people could create if they might not be sick, but they make themselves sick. Rinna even suggested that Hadid actually had Munchausen syndrome and was just trying to get attention by acting sick. And as Hadid saw it... That was the biggest blow I've ever had in my life. And I'm sorry about that, and it didn't sorry come from me. Sorry is not enough. Rinna apologized, but things were far from okay between the two. The fallout from other cast members and fans was enough to make Rinna think about leaving the show. She admitted to the LA Times in 2019, It's gotten to a crazy level. I mean, I've had death threats. As it shook out, Hadid moved to a farm in Pennsylvania, and Rinna stayed in LA and continued to stir the pot. Time for some off-screen drama. We're talking about the only non-housewife on the list, Harry Hamlin's ex-wife, Nicolette Sheridan. The pair were married for just one year, divorcing in 1992. She went to a Michael Bolton concert at the Hollywood oh, Bowl. no way. I swear to yeah. God. And left and with then Michael that Bolton? Was it? Yes. Rinna got herself into trouble after alleging that Sheridan cheated on Hamlin with Michael Bolton, whom she dated on and off for years, according to E.T. The ladies then took their beef to Twitter after Rinna spewed the gossip on the show, with Sheridan firing back, Fake news. Harry and I ended our marriage nose to nose in Canada. Michael was a longtime friend that was invited to our wedding. Then Hamlin jumped in, shooting back, re-fake news. What's it called when your wife of one year suddenly goes to bed with a pop singer? Two weeks after your mother dies? I did a lot of stuff with my wife nose to nose, but ending our marriage was not one of them. This is epic! Yes! <laughs> Bravo to Harry! Rinna then threw in some nasty tweets of her own, for good measure. Erica Jane and Rinna have fluctuated between being super tight and straight-up enemies throughout the years. But things turned majorly sour between the ladies during season 11 when all eyes were on Jane's divorce and never-ending money troubles. Initially, Rinna was on her side, but by the time the next season began filming, there were already rumors that Rinna and Jane had fallen out. Allegedly, Rinna threw major shade at Jane while filming in Aspen, and things escalated to the point where producers had to stop the cameras. An insider told Radar, a producer had to step in and they stopped filming. Then all the girls made an agreement to not name call anymore, and filming resumed. Erica's a We aren't sure exactly where these two currently stand, but it doesn't seem great. Jane has left cryptic comments on Instagram, threatening in April 2022, just wait for this season. If you know anything about Rinna's feuds, you're familiar with her animosity toward Kim Richards. The OG housewife, who's also the older sister of Kyle Richards, has spent time on and off the show since the beginning. Kim has struggled with her sobriety over the years, and Rinna hasn't always been supportive. After criticizing Kim's drinking early on, they were never able to fully get along again. Kim Richards is an addict. She's a f***ing lunatic. She comes at you like a f***ing dog, like a rabid dog. For her part, Rinna apologized during a trip to Amsterdam in season five. She claimed her snap judgment of Kim had to do with her own history of family members living with addiction. I'm sorry if I've ever, you know, gotten into your business. I never meant to it. I only wanted to... Well, you have. But then we fast forward to season seven, when Kim was no longer a full-time cast member and was preparing to become a grandmother. Rinna gifted her a stuffed bunny for the baby in yet another attempt to bury that hatchet. Then, at the reunion a few months later, Kim brought back the unopened gift and returned it to Rinna on camera, claiming it didn't have what she called good energy, and that she didn't want it around her grandchild. I don't need to explain myself. I don't need to say a word. Rinna burst into tears, appearing as if she had never been so hurt and offended in her life. The bunny's energy might not have been good enough for Kim's grandbaby, but Andy Cohen deemed it to be the perfect fit for his Bravo fans. You get a bunny! You get a bunny! He once gave everyone in the audience a bunny, and there's a bunny proudly displayed on the set of Watch What Happens Live, where it's soaking up all the weird energy it possibly can. Thanks to Rinna's tense relationship with Kyle's sister Kim, these two ladies have butted heads more than a few times over the years. Though Rinna and Kim seem to move on from the awkward bunny return in season 7, by season 10, Kyle still appeared to be holding on to some resentment. During a group dinner in LA, some of the women began questioning whether or not Kyle really had their backs. Kyle claimed she did, but Rinna fired back, alleging that Kyle had left her hanging during the fight with Kim in Amsterdam seasons earlier. Still, Kyle isn't one to hold back when she's pushed too far. It cost me a relationship with my sisters, so f you. So f off. 
Rinna and Kyle eventually made up, but it's clear that Kyle still feels a bit of hostility towards her co-star for complicating her already difficult relationship with Kim. In early 2022, rumors swirled that things had once again taken a sour turn for Rinna and Kyle as season 12 was about to drop. There's that whole thing where Rinna reportedly fell out with Kyle's other sister, Kathy Hilton, which could be where the animosity comes from. As The Heavy noted, since filming wrapped, Kyle, Kathy, and Rinna have all been sharing oddly dramatic quotes on their Instagrams about backstabbing and, quote, real friends. Hmm. Sounds like someone's looking for some fresh blood in Beverly Hills. You just don't know what she's gonna pull out of that bag of hers, but it is gonna be one sharp dagger. If you or anyone you know is struggling with addiction issues, help is available. Visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website or contact SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP-4357.